Gone are the days when running private cellular networks were complicated and expensive. My name is Lawrence and welcome to Show and Tell, the video series where we not only talk about technology, but show you how things actually work. In this demonstration, I'll be building a private cellular network for my IoT devices to connect. And why? Well, maybe you find yourself outside the reach of a public cellular network, or maybe you're paying way too much for connectivity, or you have a customer with super strict security requirements, or you need to provide an SLA and be in full control of the infrastructure. Well, for all of these reasons, a private cellular network is the way to go. In this episode, we're going to take a radio, this one, connect it to the Monigoto hub, configure its radio settings, and finally connect one of these IoT devices to this private network. Let's get started. Head over to the Monigoto hub. From here, select orders and create order. In the overview page, find the option Edge 4G. 5G. There's a minimum amount of SIM that you need and then you can simply place the order. And before you know it, you get one of these boxes in your mail to get started. So what's in the box? We have power adapter and cable, ethernet, wires, GPS, antenna, and we have an LTE antenna. And finally, of course, we have the radio. I have the Ubic go ran radio that can create a private ltem and narrowband iot network let's put the things together shall we we take the radio and the lte antenna then the gps antenna that goes on this side the power adapter and connects to ethernet cables that says out goes to the radio and the one saying in goes to your local router. We take the power cord, connect it with power. If all goes well, you should directly see some LEDs starting with red and eventually that should become green and white, indicating that there's both a connection to internet and to the Monogoto cloud. And this might take some minutes. So in the meantime, I'm going to connect the mount to the radio. Okay, done. Then you can use these things to mount the radio to the pole. But for now, I'm just gonna use some tie wrap. Okay, this should do for now. So let's validate if this thing is actually connected. And to do so, we head over to the Monogoto hub. We go to private networks and we select the private network that we are using from the list. And here we can find three different tabs. So the edge is the core routing component, responsible for routing data to and from the right endpoints. And this edge can be deployed in different ways. And for this particular case, it runs on the radio itself. Then we have the radio and the radio is the physical device. It's also referred to as E-Node B, small cell or base station. So if we open up the Ubic radio, we can find all of the details and configuration in this screen. So you can edit these configurations, define a network name, power level, bandwidth, etc. And in this way, you can fully manage the private network from the Monogoto hub. And by default, it comes with the settings that are already pre-provisioned by Monogoto. And the information can also be found on our documentation section. So if you go to our docs.monogoto.io, head over to private networks and then select the e B that you are using. Finally, we have the backhaul. This is the connection to the Monogoto cloud. And this connection is called the control plane, which is responsible for things like authentication and generation of encryption key. Here's an important thing I need to share. And that is that you have to make sure to figure out what frequency bands you can and cannot use. Because it highly depends on the region you're based. And sometimes you need to license the band and sometimes it's free to use. So make sure to figure this out out and drop us a line if you need any support. So we can all see that the device, this radio is up and running, but don't take my word for it. Let's try it out ourselves. To start off, I'm going to connect the Monogoto SIM and I'm connecting the cable, hooking the device up. Then let's open my serial monitor and I need to check what serial port the device is connected to. So let's use Minicom to open up this serial connection. There we go. So we are connected to the water board. Let's see if it responds to AT command. It does. Amazing. Let's request some board information and enable the radio. Then we can request whether the device recognizes the SIM and that is the case as well. So in order to configure the device, we need to disable the radio 
and after that we can define the APN settings which is data.mono then we enable the radio again allowing the device to connect to potential networks we search for a network and hey we find something interesting here the device is connected to this specific network and hey maybe you already saw this in the monogoto aha because this specific number represents the number of the private network that we have set up here in the background then to validate that device is actually seeing this network i'm running the at command 80 plus cop ish question mark and this instructs the device to do a full network scan and to respond with all the networks in red but beware this may take a few minutes to complete take it easy and uh, let's wait see what the device reports back okay yes we can find different networks indicated by these specific numbers including kpn and monogoto 4g so really exciting stuff. This number seven indicates LTE M technology, which the device is currently using. Let's do a final test. And what I like to do is send a ping. And here we ping the IP address 8888, which is google.com. And we request the device to report back. And here we get five responses of these pings. So the device is connected to this private network. Let's head back to the Monogoto console because we see now here in the radio overview that there's one device connected. And we can scroll down, highlight the current active things. And there we can find the device, which is called Walter. So we can click on this to get more information about this device it processed some data already and here we can find the full overview of the device including all of the event law but what would happen if the device would be outside the reach of this private network or maybe the private network goes down how long would it take before the device would connect to a public network instead of this private network well let's let's figure it out so as we can see we are still connected to this private network well let's disconnect the private network for now and we start a timer and we're going to monitor what the device is doing and how it will operate okay i'm monitoring the device which is currently connected and i'm starting the stopwatch now i'm disabling the radio by disconnecting the power now let's see what's happening. There's already something happening. And CREC 80 means that the UI is placed in a location with no CAT M1 network. So if you now run 80 cops, then we see that the device gets disconnected from the network. And what I'm finding here is that CREC is 5. And CREC is 5 means that the device is connected to a new network. And if I stop the clock, then in about 2 minutes, the device manages to disconnect from network 1 and reconnect to a new network. And also, if we look at the Monogoto hub and refresh, then we find that it automatically updated network settings and now is connected to a public network. So this is really exciting stuff. Within a couple of minutes, we managed to connect one of these things to set up your own private cellular network, allowing IoT devices like this to connect to the internet. And the good thing is that you can do this yourself. So head over to the Monogoto Hub to order your Monogoto Edge and get in touch with our support team to figure out what radio works best for your use case. So thank you so much for watching. My name is Lawrence and this was another episode of Show Don't Tell. In the meantime, have a look at their website, subscribe to this channel and we'd love to see you again during one of the next episodes. Good luck setting up your own private network.